So this is one of Asus's newest laptops to the South African market. And this features an Intel Arrow Lake processor, meaning that it has dedicated AI cores. And to say that this laptop is a bomb would be an understatement. All right. So this is the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED and more specifically it's the UX3405MA model. Some of its features, right? So this is one of the first laptops that I have with the new generation of processors that have AI cores built in. According to the new CPU architecture, it's much more powerful and efficient. These CPUs come built in with Intel's Arc graphics. So in terms of specs, for a processor, this is running an Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, more specifically the 15.5H, which runs at 1.4 gigahertz. It has 24 megabytes of cache, and it can be clocked at up to 4.8 gigahertz on 16 cores, 22 threads, and it has the Intel AI Neural Boost. In terms of RAM, this has 16 gigs of LPDDR5 memory on board, and in terms of graphics, as I mentioned, this is running the Intel Arc graphics. In terms of storage, this laptop is running a one terabyte M.2 NVMe PCIe 4 SSD. In terms of the body dimensions, 31 centimeters by 22 centimeters by 1.49 centimeters. In terms of its weight, just like every other VivoBook in the range, this weighs 1.2 kilograms. The screen is an OLED 14 inch screen with a 3K resolution being 2880 by 1800. It has a response time of 0.2 milliseconds, 120 hertz refresh rate, and 600 nits of HDR peak brightness. Although it's small and compact, it has its vents at the bottom and it has its intake on the left hand side. But what I can tell you is that this laptop does run a little warm. Um, when I tested this out at work, we hammered it a little bit and it got warm and I mean even now we may be recording for about 20 minutes or so the underneath is warm but I mean one side is pulling air the other side is blowing it it's it's quite warm so it's not gonna run hot but the cooling I think can be improved on this laptop but yeah that's it in terms of design in terms of the design I mean everything else that we normally used to I think the hinge is slightly different on this if I um, yeah uh, I can be so bold to say that the lay flat hinge is slightly different in terms of the way that it's designed uh, the, the the bezeling around the hinge it's, it has a much more rounded design um, as to how much that impacts the performance I don't think it's any but it's good to see something different here in terms of battery and power, this is powered by a 75 watt hours battery and it is charged by a type C 65 watt AC adapter. In terms of IOs, this has one USB 3.2 Gen 1 type A port. It has two Thunderbolt 4 which supports display and power delivery. It has one HDMI 2.1 TMDS as well as it has a three and a half mil combo audio jack. In terms of connectivity, this is running Wi-Fi 6E 802.11ax in the dual bandwidth in the 2x2 MIMO configuration. And this is running Bluetooth 5.3. The keyboard is the backlit chiclet keyboard with the 1.4 millimeter key travel, the touchpad, which is the large touchpad, which we are used to in the Vivo books. And the touchpad also supports the numpad in the touchpad. Some of the bonus features, Harman and Kardon audio, premium as usual, the US military standard 810H. So this laptop is also built with an iris camera right at the top here. So that allows you to not worry about inputting your password all the time. 
um, all you have to do is register your iris and as long as you sit down in front of your screen your laptop will automatically unlock and I think that feature is cool so now that we've got through the specs I'm gonna do something that we've never done before let's go ahead and do a benchmarking of this laptop and a battery test okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to run a benchmark on this laptop and this is something we've never done before but we've done our research and it's something that I'm gonna regret not doing for a lot of the laptops we've reviewed before okay so our benchmark that we're going to be running is called Geekbench All right so I've done a lot of research on it and Geekbench is gonna give us a number that is uh, indicative of how the CPU performs against other devices or just an overall performance in terms of the CPU, GPU, RAM and all of those things. Okay, so while we're waiting for the Geekbench to install, let's talk about some of the improvements of this 14th gen processor over the 13th gen i7. So firstly, when it comes to processing, the Ultra 715 5H can perform 1.14 times faster than the 13th gen i7 1360p. And this is a uh, better performance in terms of Cinebench R23 uh, multi-core benchmarking. Uh, in terms of the GPU, the graphics can perform 1.7 times faster than the 1360p. Uh, this is based on 3D Mark times by um, overall score, as well as the Intel AI Boost or the NPU has efficient AI power usage. So with the NPU on, the battery life can actually be extended by up to 1.57 times. So you can have this, uh, you can have a 1.75 time longer battery life based on the use of just something like Microsoft Teams, um, where with the NPU on, you can have a battery life of up to seven hours compared to four hours with the NPU off. So this improvements, the AI cores affect a lot more than just things that require analytic thinking or analytic processing. So Geekbench has been installed. Now let's go ahead and run this benchmarking. Okay, so now that we've run the benchmarking, in terms of the CPU benchmark, the CPU benchmark on a single core score, we received 2,326, and on a multi-core score, we received 9,078. I also ran the GPU benchmark, and in terms of the GPU benchmark, this again, Intel Arc graphics, and on an OpenCL API compute, we received a compute score of 19,101. What that means right now might not mean much, but in the days and the months and the years to come, we're gonna have these scores to compare other devices too. But I think we've prayed, taken pretty long right now. Let's continue with the review. So now let's discuss price. So this is available in the Ponder blue color that we are seeing right now. And this will go up for retail on the 1st of February, 2024. And there's a link in the description to the ASU South Africa website. This laptop is going to retail for 25,000 Rand, which I think is an absolute steal at that price for a device as powerful as this. So now let's talk about my personal opinions. Over the CES period, we've had a lot of talk about AI and AI's introduction to all of this. So I work in an industry where we have software that utilizes AI. And what I actually did was I took this laptop and we tested it with its performance, with its dedicated AI cores and its suggested uh, efficiency and better performance. And I can tell you that it has 100% stood up to all of its claims. So these new efficient processes are going to be game changing. And as much as everyone says that AI 
is irrelevant. It's gonna do things and make tasks simpler to a level where we won't even understand it. And that's what I'm most excited about. Because just like with the Samsung S24, something as simple as taking a photo and circling that to search the internet, something as simple as that makes our lives so much more different. And the same thing applies with AI in these laptops. We'll get into a whole discussion about how these AI cores work and everything, but that's a story for another day. Personal opinions of this laptop. I think it is amazing. And for its price point, it is fabulous and great. What would I rate this laptop out of 10? I would go so far as to say that I would rate this a 9.8 out of 10 purely because it has the right price point. It has so much awesome performance and battery efficiency. So much so that this laptop is going to be game changing. And I would 100% recommend this laptop to anyone. Because again, remember, it's all the things that we love from the Vivo book. It's light, it's compact, it has the OLED screen. And something to mention, right, a little bit of a sidetrack. I review these devices all the time. And I mean, we talk about the Harman and Kardon audio. When I was testing this at work, right, or when we were testing this at work, we played music, which was like this Ibiza mix out of the laptop. And everyone was blown away by the speaker quality or the audio quality out of this because it is such a small and compact device, but it has your highs, your mids and your lows. And we compared this to another laptop which was almost double in price, 15,000 rand, more than this. Uh, we're not gonna mention any brand names or anything, but that laptop's audio was absolutely garbage compared to the audio coming out of this. And even the person whose laptop it was says, the guys were literally blown away by how amazing the audio was out of this. So, you know, you know what? As much as I am close to this, this time around while testing, I got a first-hand experience as to how awesome this device is because I don't necessarily register it. And I think that's what's contributed to it having such a high rating aside from its price point. Yeah guys, but if you'd like to pick up one of your own, there's a link in the description below. And remember, it will be available for purchase from the 1st of February. Guys, a big shout out to ASUS South Africa for sending me out this device and getting a chance to review one of the brand new Arrow Lake processors, never mind it's a laptop processor, but it's given us so much of insight as to what we can expect from processors to come. And yeah, I mean, a big shout out to ASUS South Africa. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Guys, thanks for watching. My name is Rashawn and I'll catch you next video.